everybody, it's Brian again, Craig's brother. I thought I'd just do a little quick podcast. It won't be, it won't be long because I just want to ask uh, uh, Colton a few questions. If you don't mind, please, Colton. I keep sending you a message, but you're not getting back to me. Now, on some of your podcasts, you put some things out. I just want to ask you these four questions, if you don't mind. But prior to that, you see I'm on site, I'm not doing much as usual. Just uh, relaxing, watching the machines, doing the surveys. So, the first question I want to ask you, please, Colton, is you say you knew Pat Tate. Now, Pat Tate won a round long, as we all know that, when he came out of prison, before he lost his life. And I know for a fact that you fell out with, or Tony fell out with you, eight to 12 months prior to the killing. So, I don't understand how you met Pat Tate. So, if you say you did, then I'll apologise to you, but I can't see how you did meet him. Number two is the traveller's checks. Now, I was told by my brother, Craig, it was under Groundsville Travers Checks. You seem to think it was £250,000. So that's increased a hell of a lot. So I don't know where that one's come from. But I'll have to take your word for it uh, on your podcast. But I'd sooner believe my brother than you. So I do apologise for that. Uh, number three is the phone call you got from Tony that night. Now, yet again, Tony fell out with you. So why would Tony ring you? So to prove me wrong... I'm asking you, man to man, whatever you want to call it, show your phone records and I will apologise to you personally or on this podcast and say, yes, you did get the phone call. But deep down, I know you didn't. They were paranoid. They didn't even tell their girlfriends or wives or friends where they were going. And I had a lot of dealings with them and they, they didn't trust me. So I'm sure they wouldn't have trusted you. So that's number three. Number four is... Number four, oh, my brother. Now, you say you had a bit of a conflict with my brother uh, going back some time at nightclub. Uh, I don't believe that because I know Craig wouldn't have backed down from you. No matter how much of a big lump you was, he would not back down. He would give you as much as you, good as you give him, and I know it for a fact. And the fifth one, I don't know you really. I'm not here to slag you off, but I remem remember you and know you from the terraces. Now, I went a lot of the matches in my days to watch the match. Not to get involved in the fighting and that sort of thing, the hooliganism you want to call it. But I heard from some people that you was always in the middle or at the back of the crew when the fighting come. Now, that might be wrong, but like you, you listen to people and they give you stories, and I do. So if you was at the front, good on you. But that walk my scene. So anyway... So that's going to be it now. Uh, I'm doing a big podcast in November. I hope everyone tunes into it and enjoys it. There will be a lot more coming out than has been on my other ones, like with Kevin Whitaker. Uh, we've known Kevin Whitaker for quite a long time. Uh, he got done for us with my other brother for burning the school down. They went to prison, the pair of them. So that's one thing people don't know about. Kevin wasn't killed because of a deal gone wrong. He was drugged the same as me because they thought he was the police informer and it went wrong. So I want to apologise with all my heart to Kevin's mum and dad. And I wish it never happened. I wish he was still around for his uh, child and everything. So I'm sorry for that. And I wish I could turn back the clock, but I can't. That's how wicked they were sometimes, my brother. Luckily, I didn't die. Uh, another one is Donna. Now, Donna's walked away from this, given a lot of information out about people. So... In November, I'm going to talk about Donna, uh, some of the things she got up to and some of the things she knew, like where Kevin Whitaker actually died, it, uh, that sort of thing, and the things that Donna did, so like giving her son away that no one knew about. So I've got no more to say today because I'm a busy person at work, looks like it, doesn't it really, but uh, I've got to look busy because the gaff is about later on. So I wish all my subscribers all the best the people that brought my book it's doing well and i thank you for that and i go back to colton again like I say colton i'm not here to put you down mate just answer a few questions of mine you know i'll, I'll meet you and have a chat with you i'll have a, I'll have a pint with you i've got nothing against you you with me i just remember you from the terraces but not in person so anyway i'm going to go now before i get in, myself in trouble and get the sack which i can't afford to do these days for the cost of living for those people out there so, yes again, I'll do another podcast soon. Thanks everyone, bye.